Hi Gemini, this is your vlog for a romance vlog for March and I'm introducing this in English and just the beginning in Dutch so bear with me please uh, Hallo Tweeling, dit is jullie romance vlog voor maart of lezing Ik kom zo terug in Nederlands want ik heb een kleine introductie te maken met betrekking tot de kanaal so, Ogenblik alsjeblieft. Um, hi everybody, welcome to the channel and if you're new, welcome to the channel too. This is a bilingual um, channel and I will be doing the video in Dutch and um, I'm shaking the cards, you most probably can hear that um, and I'm using the Angel Romance deck um, by Diana Virtue and um, the the English evenings live will be on Monday and Friday and uh, the Dutch one will be uh, on Wednesday uh, the channel is growing rapidly uh, thank goodness and it's really nice to know uh, that we are moving on and we're moving on to beautiful things we're also moving on to um, <coughs> interesting subjects with inter, inter, interviews with uh, authors and I'll be in doing an interview a series on what is a witch and that was quite successful because we did a trial run this week Wendy and I and we'll be discussing what are witches um, uh, what do witches do and that and compare them to homeopathy and we'll be discussing um, different subjects like hand, uh, unseen handicaps or difficulties uh, frustration how do you deal with that how do you deal with loss things like that because witches if you've watched the video they are also people um, they are work they work with mother nature and they are thankful they are beautiful people because they take care of the environment they uh, feel one with the environment and I'm already getting the cards ready S sorry I'm uh, I'm sorry about this but <coughs> here we go this is the spread that I'll be doing so if you can speak Dutch you're more than welcome to join in on Wednesday nights as well so remember uh, the live sessions will be Monday and Friday because I have to also keep up with the update with my website and please visit the website you can find a little white uh, circle with an eye and you if you click on that then it will take you through to the website you're all very welcome and thank you for coming back and remember share the videos and uh, like the videos give us the thumbs up and you can find more information underneath this video in the description box I'm going to translate this what I've just told you in Dutch and then I'll be back and start the reading so if you don't uh, just skip it if you don't want to wait <laughs> obviously <coughs> and um, it's nice to see you Oké, okay, hallo iedereen, uh, tweelingen. Um, dit is even een update. Uh, je kan hier in de hoek zie je een wit cirkeltje met een i. En daar, uh, als je daarop klikt, dan word je doorverwezen naar de website charliesangeltarot.com. En uh, woensdagavond is het de Nederlandse avond. Um, want het wordt erg druk en het is leuk als de conversatie in de live uh, gewoon vloeit en daarom hoop ik dat er meer Nederlanders komen om mee te doen in de vlog in de live sessie we noemen het de theekamer en iedereen die in de theekamer komt is een cyberengel en uh, het groeit uh, heel vlug zo so, uh, als je een vrij kaartje wilt hebben doe dan mee maar je kan ook super chat doen en of een super sticker en dan klik je op uh, de dollar zijn en dan volg je de instructies en dan kan je een antwoord krijgen op jouw vraag heb je een specifieke vraag die beantwoord ik met drie kaarten en een orakelkaart wil je een volledige lezing hebben ga dan even naar de website en de informatie is ook onder uh, 
deze video in de omschrijvingsvakje. Maar als je naar de website gaat, dan heb je meer keuze van uh, aanbiedingen, uh, zowel voor algemeen als voor romans of een kleinere lezing. En daar vind je alle informatie en alle reviews die ik doe op de, de kaarten. Bijvoorbeeld de review van uh, de House of Shadow kaarten van uh, Monica Bodinski. En uh, ook, uh, je kan ook onder de play lijst kijken, speellijst. Uh, daar zie je alle kaarten. Die heb ik ook een review op van gedaan. Zo, laten we nu beginnen met de uh, lezing. En ik hoop dat het duidelijk is. Hebben jullie nog vragen? Stuur dan even een e-mailtje. Oké. Okay. We're going to start with the reading now. And uh, the first card that you have, Gemini, is trust. Trust. This is This situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust yourself and trust your partner. Um, this situation will change whatever situation you are in. Now, I also feel that you are tied up. You feel as if you're tied up or perhaps you feel pushed into a corner. Talk about your feelings. So let's have a look. And for the uh, the this is uh, like the House of Shadow, and this is from Monica. And this is an extra card because there's usually 36 cards in a deck, and we have 42 in this deck. And here you can see the puppet, the puppet, and the puppet means it like not a mummy. It just looks like a mummy. Um, sorry, I just went back in Dutch and somebody's pulling your strings So you might feel tied up as if somebody is pulling your strings So um, take back control. That's what I would say and don't let anybody manipulate you in or boss you about Know your boundaries come out of your head make your own decisions Okay by making your own choices and your own decisions, you can let the other person know how you feel. And that is why it says trust and have faith that the situation will change. It can change if you keep the communication going. When you see this card, um, how do you read it? Are you heroic or about to be victimized by a person who uses all your time and is relentlessly crossing your boundaries even after you've made them clear this is <coughs> this is the time to define your space once and for all and what you will or will not accept from now on the puppet is saying oh yeah who holds the pins now or the strings so it's like a little voodoo doll with the pins. I thought it was a puppet, like a puppet on a string. So it, 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 you know, somebody's pulling your strings or somebody is pushing the pins. So yeah, it's the same thing. Don't let anybody push you around. That's the message. Know your boundaries. Let them know what your boundaries are and know what their boundaries are. That's how you can bring back the balance. In the second week, um, well, this is the second week we are in, and I'm sorry that I'm late. Um, but like I said, there's a lot of changes coming and happening. So have a look at the video news and updates, then you'll know what's coming. There's lots of exciting things happening. Well, in the second week, you've got passion. And the passion is allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you most probably have already noticed what to do in the first week with this situation. Don't be put into a corner. Don't let anybody pull your strings. It, there is a 360 degrees turnaround. Ooh, they do love you. They'd want to keep you. If you are not hooked up, then it's a good lesson that when you do meet somebody, talk to them and have and trust that the situation will um, get better that you will grow towards each other if it is meant and remember passion doesn't um, 
last but the, there should be passion in a relationship so let them also know that you want a long-term relationship and I'm talking about 360 degrees and you've got the stalk so there might be a pregnancy or you might be hearing of a birth this could be of a child this could be of a project moving in together because it also means moving home Wow exciting so it's moving home or um, starting a new project together perhaps perhaps the passion is turning into love 360 degrees turnaround Wow or you might be hearing of a birth or finding out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions very soon that's the next card in the third week and remember this could be the overall energy in March and here comes the Sun and I get to I get to hear the song here comes the Sun from the Beatles and very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now there I've put the blind down the Sun is shining and I don't want to close it uh, close it all off because I love the Sun and talking about the Sun look what you've got you have the Sun and the Sun also means moving home moving home or going on holiday you're in the spotlight something is being illuminated it also means birth birth of a child hearing of a birth or finding out you're pregnant it could also be a birth of a new project like I said moving in together taking the relationship up a level or a notch and the, they're lying def uh, next to each other so that's definitely giving a, a yeah it's in the spotlight something is going to happen it is in the spotlight boom but you need more information something is uh, illuminated uh, perhaps a question a situation shall I move in or shall I not move in well this could be that one of uh, that you are being bossed or pushed into a situation that you do not want to be in so hold the strings yourself by making the right decision to move in or to not to move in move home or live closer it's up to you but it is in the spotlight and it is positive there is very positive energy but remember you've also got passion and make sure that you know that it could grow into a fully fledged relationship have faith but you need to know the, your boundaries and their boundaries you need to know what they expect and what they want okay then in the last week you've got playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so let your inner child come out to play this is a very beautiful reading Gemini because it is um, a lot of play and I know we are regarded as the child in um, the horoscope in astrological sense we are the child as we are the third house so let that playfulness childlike innocent character come out and don't be too serious don't be too much in your head okay be playful enjoy open your heart and open your solar plex your play um, your emotional chakra then we have the anchor and the answer to your question is yes you're coming home to a safe haven you feel safe where you are with this person and you're staying there you've put down your anchor now talking about playfulness and innocence and let your childlike in uh, in your childlike uh, energy come forth you've got the child and I love the way it's depicted in this deck 
it's the body and the arm that's attached to the body and the head is up in the air so don't be in your mind make that decision that you are your own boss don't be manipulated but let your outer child come out your inner child come out and don't be up in your head and don't have your head in the clouds be realistic and know that passion doesn't last it ha it, but have faith that it could grow into a long-term relationship and if you are already hooked up then and you want to go up to the next level or you want some your relationship to be refreshed or have something new and exciting be more playful go on holiday go for uh, on the boat have a boat trip um, well yes in Holland we have boat trips and in a lot of countries we do you know you can have a boat trip go away for the weekend so if you are in France or Holland or Belgium then take the car and take the car on the boat to England for example or if you have canals or boat uh, tours in your city then go and enjoy and we're talking about going away retreat retreat it is time to disconnect from the world you need to get together okay and let the passion come out let your inner child come out get away from that seri seriousness then for Archangel Michael card we have the a healing card because it's green it means space green means space to me and green means also money money is coming to you definitely so that you can go away for a weekend or a day or do something fun go out to dinner positivity the energy of words words do have energy you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar so watch your intonation and watch out what you say and how you behave Archangel Michael requests a personal thorough, uh, thorough review of your inner mind and outer verbal dialogue words have powerful energy so use them wisely Gemini so think before you speak then from the angel feather deck we have the royal blue angel feather chosen path found the angels would like to reassure you that you've definitely found your path congratulations are here you are right on track so the angels are congratulating you you can meditate on this royal blue color you can eat blue fruit you can wear the color this will enhance your energy and detox you and will put you back in your strength and blue Wow Gemini I did not sort out these cards believe you me but blue is also Archangel so Michael and he's the angel and blue is the throat chakra and we are the star sign that represents communication wisdom and honesty and clarity so be clear in what you say but be careful how you say it this is awesome these are really cards that relate to the air signs and especially Gemini Wow brilliant I hope you have enjoyed this reading my sweeties and I hope to see you back on Monday and Friday nights in the life if you have any questions send me an email by all means and I'll answer you ASAP I hope you have a brilliant weekend and I'll see you later please share and like this video and give us the thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell if you would like to be notified if you don't want to be notified don't hit the bell and but hit the uh, sub button and it will be saved in your library okay take care 
Dankjewel lieve mensen om te kijken naar deze video. Ik hoop dat jullie het echt bijzonder vonden. Ik wel, want het is echt de kaarten voor de tweeling. De blauw is de blauwe chakra en de blauwe kleur is ook aartsengel Michiel. De engel van uh, bescherming en ook van de, de, de keelchakra van spreken, wijsheid en communicatie en gerechtigheid en duidelijkheid. En dat is typisch een element van de tweelingen. Ik hoop dat je deze lezing leuk hebt gevonden. Alsjeblieft even delen met familie en vrienden en geef de duimpjes op. En ik zie jullie volgende week woensdag in de live, eh, hoop ik, en anders in de volgende video. Heb een fijn weekend. Ciao, ciao.